Hello guys, it's Briggsy Ball here. Welcome back to my channel and today it is a good day because we have the first football vlog of the 19-20 season. Now, as you may or may not know, I do work at Morecambe Football Club, so that means sometimes there are Blackman games that I miss, whether they're home or away. But uh, with me working at Morecambe, I've never actually been to an away day, so I've seen us quite a few times at home, but never on our travels, which is what makes this vlog a bit special today, something a bit different because Morecambe are travelling away to the One Call Stadium where they face Mansfield Town. Now that is going to be a tough game, as we know Mansfield Town won the top teams in League 2 now, tip for promotion, they had a good season in the 18-19 campaign and they've got some decent players in that team of theirs. But it's certainly going to be difficult like I say, score prediction wise I'm going to be optimistic and say a 2-2 draw, I would be happy if we brought home a point. Uh, it's in a grand I've never been to, a different sort of away day. I've never been to a League 2 away match. I did a bit in League 1 when Blackman were there and obviously Championship. So it'll be interesting to see if it's any different. So without further ado, let's head off to the Globe Arena where I will be getting my travel down to Mansfield. Come on you shrimps. Right, so there we go then, I am back from Mansfield. I enjoyed it, you know, the atmosphere was surprisingly good. The game, of course, was very good. Who would have thought it would have ended a 2-2 draw at the end of that? I mean, Morecambe going into that game definitely as the underdogs. Mansfield Town, like I said before, a top team you would expect to be in the playoffs come the end of April. But we took the fight to them, to be fair, with two early goals. First one coming from Sam Lavelle, and it was good for Sam to get his first goal of the season. He played well, I thought, with Steve Old. Again, solid in the two centre-back roles. I thought, to be fair, in the Grimsby match, even though it was poor last week, uh, Old and Lavelle were the two standouts for me. They've had a really good partnership as centre-backs, and they just work really well uh, together. I thought Buxton and Conlon actually did really well uh, today as well. They put in some really important tackles. They were calm on the ball. They were composed. The passing was accurate. Uh, so much better than last week. Overall, I think a lot of the players were, to be fair. And even though we put out basically the same team as the Grimsby match uh, last Saturday, it was miles better, let's be honest. We played much better football. A happy point for Morecambe fans, like I say. You know, it's a good point on our travels. But like I say, that moves us on to next week having Cheltenham on the Saturday. We've then got Macclesfield on Tuesday the 20th, followed by Exeter and then Swindon. So some tough games this month, but you look at Cheltenham and Macclesfield as the easier two, let's be honest, and you're thinking four out of six points there, I think that would suffice. Well, Jim, a 2-2 draw away at Mansfield. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game? I think it was an eventful game. Uh, you know, we're coming to one of the favourites in the league. 
Um, they bounced back last week. You know, fantastic second half performance by them. Could have won it. Uh, so coming into the game, we're thinking, are they going to play a three? Are they going to play a four? You know, they, they changed last week at half time, and as it was, they started with a four. And I think we uh, we deserved our lead. We were on top. We get a second. Buxton hits the crossbar from about way inside his own half to make a three. Um, and then they changed the shape, and it worked well for them. You know, sometimes that happens. Just uh, gives you the spark, and they've, they've changed it, and they've come back into it. And a little bit disappointing the goal we conceded. Was, well, it was a foul on Oldie in, in the head. When he had it clear, it looked like he might have got a nudge. I'll have to see it again. But as it is, you're playing against one of the top sides. They're going to with one of the or two of the best strikers in the division in Maynard and Rose. Thought Rose was exceptional today. Um, so you're going to you're going to concede chances. We just couldn't dig in at that stage, as I say. There's always ups and downs and swings and roundabouts in games and. Their, uh, their change against Newport last week had a positive effect and exactly the same again today. Uh, my disappointment was I think we've got more on the tank as well. I think we're, we're better than what we showed. There was a couple of opportunities there. It was a good bit of play. Just that final little pass. We could have slipped Louis Alexander through one-on-one. -on -one. We ended up hitting a diagonal ball. You know, we're taking shots on when it's on to pass. I think it was Cole Stockton. If he just slips it to his left, Kevin Allison's clean through on goal. So there's loads of positives. If we can just tighten it up, we've scored two away from home. We could have easily scored four or five today. But as it is, as I say, you're playing against one of the top sides with quality players. Otis Khan's a player I've always admired, and as Danny Rose was a difference today. Um, you know, he was the main man for them, and he and he got the second goal with a header exactly the same as what he did as in the not last year, the year before. I think it was an eventful game, but if you would have said to me before the game, listen, we want to win every game, but if you want, if you would you take a point away at Mansfield after what they've got? and where they're expected to be and what happened to us last year here, etc. So it's a point, we're up and running, we've got our first goals, we've got our first point, could have been three, but uh, you know, there's plenty of bones to pick out of that one. Overall then, I think a good performance put in there by the Shrimp, some good performers today. It was good to see Tut start the match, I know he just struggle sometimes with his injuries and so what, but uh, he managed to get a good 75, 80 minutes in, I think, something like that, before being subbed for Kenyon later on. But like I say, there was no standout performer for me today because I think everyone did well. I, I suppose Alessandra did have a really good game, um, but the midfield controlled the ball really well. You know, we got the passing going at some really delightful balls like we saw there with Ellison's to get the second. Uh Really solid in defence as well, I thought. Uh, we worked well as a unit. Um, and, you know, the positive signs are there. It is looking good. I'm looking forward to Cheltenham next Saturday. Hopefully, it will be a good game. So then I'm going to end this video there. I'm going to stop waffling, OK? Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you and goodbye.